Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from the Black Business School and the Black Wealth Boot Camp. And I wanted to talk for about for one second about um, a story that I just read that actually made me sad. Um, it's a story in USA Today uh, about Antoine Randall L., who was a great football player um, at uh, Indiana University, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, Antoine and I, um, I met Antoine. I met Antoine um, at an event about a year or two ago. And uh, before I get to that, though, I'll tell you why he's in the, in the media. Um, Antoine is talking about uh, football and his great career as, a, as an NFL player. He won a Super Bowl. To this day, he's the only player, in, only wide receiver in NFL history to throw a touchdown pass in the Super Bowl. And, uh, you know, so he's a hero. He's, he's a, a legend in some circles. And But uh, he actually said in this uh, interview at the Pittsburgh Gazette, he said, if I could go back, I wouldn't play football. He said he would play baseball instead uh, because he was actually drafted by the Cubs. And he said that the reason that he would not play football is because of brain damage, because he feels that he's had you know some uh, serious psychological effects from getting hit in the head and hit, getting those concussions that Will Smith, um, his character, talked about in the, the movie Concussion, which I highly recommend. Will just does an amazing job in this film. He deserves um, some sort of a, a tremendous amount of respect for, um, for the way he played the role. He did a great job. And... Um, and the film was very important. I was very proud that Will took this role because because a lot of actors might not have wanted to do something like this because it was a very serious film. I don't know how much money it made, but uh, it, it's important to kind of reveal um, the reality, the truths behind football. Uh, the fact is that when you look at the science, the human brain is not meant to have that many collisions. Uh, a lot of football players, by the time they're done, their brains have been through uh, as much trauma as you would go through if you were in, say, 10, 20,000 car crashes. And uh, the thing is, the brain is not not meant to take that kind of hit. It's not built that way. Um, and so ultimately, you're going to have tremendous amounts of bruising on the brain. And what that bruising can do is it can cause all kinds of psychological problems. Uh, every Now, every time when I see a football player... Uh, get arrested for beating up his girlfriend or doing something crazy, going getting in a bar fight or you know whatever. I always wonder if there's brain damage involved because um, some some players get out of the, get out of the league and they do really crazy stuff. And uh, and you think about it, you compound that with uh, the steroids that they uh, are expected to take to be uh, at their best as as far as performers. Uh, the the all the drugs the various painkillers they take many of them are addicted to drugs when they leave uh, the sport um, it really should give you a moment of pause you know when you have uh, a child who's athletically gifted and all those coaches come through your neighborhood scooping up little black boys to go play football um, I don't think that is uh, the best place for a young black child that's certainly not a place to sacrifice your your brain. Uh, and it starts as early as middle school and high school if you're taking those hits to the head. <clears throat> and one thing that Antoine talks about as well is he says that uh, I'll read I'll read the quote here. He says, "I ask my wife things over and over again, and she's like, I just told you that. I'll ask her three times the night before and get up in the morning and forget stuff like that. I try to chalk it up to I'm busy, but I, I, I'm doing a lot. But I have to get on my knees praying about it, asking God to allow me to not have these issues and live a long life." I want to see my kids raised up. I want to see my grandkids. Now, I met Antoine um, uh, at that at, at an event um, hosted by another another former professional athlete, Latan Thomas. And Antoine and I got a chance to talk for a little bit out in the hallway, um, in the green room and also in the hallway. We were just talking. And I just happened to bring up the brain disease. This was a while back before the film and before everything. And I remember bringing it up and I said, yes, so, so do you know a lot of guys who've been affected by this? And um, and I remember he said, yeah, I have a lot of friends. And he said, in fact, I was actually affected by it, too. And I said, so what, what do you mean? What's it like? He said, you know, little things. Uh, and he described some of the symptoms in terms of just being depressed for no reason or can't sleep at night <clears throat> or just can't remember things. And he said that so sometimes he would see one of his friends from football and his friend would say, hey, what's up, man? And then they would sit there for a minute and his friend would turn and say, What's up? What's what's going on, man? I didn't see you here. You see what I mean? So they would literally forget that 
they just greeted you a couple minutes earlier. That's pretty scary. I mean, that's pretty scary. When you lose your brain, you kind of lose everything. I mean, you you lose the ability to make smart decisions. Um, and you could literally do something horrible to somebody and end up in prison for the next 50 years because your brain, your mind went right. And the United States government does not allow much room or much sympathy for mental illness. When it comes to incarceration, they just, you know, you show mental illness, they just lock you away. And that's it. And so... Um, I, you know, I was just really concerned about this. And I'll tell you what, if I had a son, he wouldn't be playing football. Um, and I encourage you, if you have a son, I, I'd, I'd keep him off the football field, find something else for him to do. There are a lot of great sports that a, that a child can play. Um, I don't, you know, necessarily know what's going to happen with the NFL. I'm sure that they're thinking about the legal liability behind all this. Um, but uh, I think it's I think we got to reconsider uh, whether or not this sport is healthy for people. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with you um, and let you know um, that. Uh, a lot of these guys who have all the glory that you think that athletes have when they finally reach the dream of getting to the NFL, it's not glory. For a lot of them, it's a, it's a quiet nightmare. Um, Dave Durison is, I think, a great example. They actually featured him in the film, uh, the Will Smith movie Concussion. Uh, Dave Durison, and I, and I knew someone who knew Dave very, very well um, before he died. And I remember when Dave died, I remember when this person called me to tell me that Dave had just died. And uh, because before that, I really admired Dave's accomplishments. He was uh, NFL Man of the Year. He was a great player at Notre Dame. I think he'd won a Super Bowl with the Bears and uh, was just a great athlete all the way around. And Dave ended up killing himself at an early age um, because he was having these these brain trauma issues. And when they uh, when they did the autopsy, lo and behold, he had severe brain damage. And that you know Andre Waters when he died, uh, he had the brain of an 80 year old man with Alzheimer's. Uh, there are a lot of guys like that. So. Um, so I don't know if it's worth it. I really don't. And I think this is the untold story that needs to really get out there because we got to protect our kids. You know, so don't get so caught up in the glory that you don't think about the logic behind uh, what these systems are doing to young people. All right. Well, that's it. I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from the Black Business School, the Black Wealth Boot Camp. Please take care. God bless. I'm gone. Peace.